hi, my name's James, James Taylor. Um, I work for the council in the customer service team. Um, when I heard that the uh, council were doing some virtual VE Day celebrations, I thought I'd uh, send over just some information of my, my granddad, John Taylor. Um, I've also got a letter that he wrote um, just a day after VE Day um, telling his, his parents what he got up to. Um, so I've, I've, I've got the letter here. I was just going to read through it. Um, but uh, just a bit of background on John. Um, so John Taylor, he, he joined the Army Reserves in, in, in May 1939, uh, which was actually a few months before the war started itself. Um, he was 18 at the time and was in the South Staffordshire Regiment. Um, so after he joined, he spent some time uh, training uh, in England. Uh, in, in 1941, he was sent to, to Egypt and fought in North Africa. Uh, and he was with the Royal Army Service Corps. Uh, so the regiment was involved in logistics and transport of equipment. Um, after the Axis powers surrendered in North Africa, uh, he went over to, to Italy. Uh, that was in a, about September 1943. And he spent uh, the rest of the war there. So um, by the time the the war ended, uh, John was actually 25. Um, so he'd, he'd spent the good, a good six years uh, in the war. So we, as you can imagine, he was, he was quite excited to... Uh, for the war to end um and I've, I've got the letter here that he wrote to his parents so I'll, I'll just read that now dear mom and dad i hope this letter finds you in the best of health and happiness as it finds me at the time of writing well mom and dad i've been wanting to write this letter for the last six years the one letter which says that the war has come to an end and that they will be sending us home a bit sooner than we thought so to put everything right let's hope the boat will be here soon and now I will tell you about how we spent V-Day out here. Well, the first thing I, can, I better tell you is that we've been putting wines and beers away for V-Day. So you can see we were well supplied. Well, we started first thing in the morning, Bert and me, and by one o'clock, we were on our way singing and shouting and telling the Italians that the war was over. So they got a big fire going and brought out their best wines. Well, all this went throughout the night. Drinks were going round and round until one by one, we started to spark out. I think it was the captain who put us all to bed. All that Bert and myself know is that we stayed in bed all the next day. There was one thing that we did not do on V-Day, and that was start fighting between ourselves like we usually do when we have these wines down us. So you can see we had quite a good time. But I want to say this, Mom and Dad, I would have given anything to have been with you when the good news came over. I'm waiting for a letter from you to hear you spent V-Day. I know one thing, and that is when I get home, I'll be home for good. So look after yourselves. I shall be counting every day that goes by now. I shall be very put out if they keep us here much longer now the war is over. And that goes for all of us. Well, Mum and Dad, I will close now. So good night. God bless your loving son, John. So that's the letter he wrote. Um, unfortunately for John, he, he wasn't able to go home straight away. He was actually sent to Germany um, as part of the occupational force there uh, with the British Army of the Rhine. Um, so he was... He, he was he was there until July 1946 when he finally left um, left and got to come home. Um, he, I never got to meet um, my granddad John. I unfortunately, died before uh, before I was born. Um, but uh, I think it's important on um, VE Day that we um, just all remember uh, our family members that were part of the war and also um, all the all the people that were not able to come home. Um, so I definitely encourage everyone to, to get involved uh, during VE Day uh, with the with the online celebrations that are going on. Um, I'll, I'll be uh, joining the virtual afternoon tea at 12 o'clock uh, with a Cherry Bakewell. Um, and I'll be talking to uh, my family about uh, John's service during the war. And I'd, I'd certainly encourage if anyone has any relatives that were around during the war, even if they were at home, um, just to talk to them about their stories. Um, and, um, and yeah, just kind of reflect on, on those that didn't come back home.